evidences every one. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. Tonight marks a new beginning. For Shinra! This could well be her last line of defense. Let's go. Let us defy destiny. Together. Cloud, there's still so much to be done. Final Fantasy VII. Remake? Or is it the remake? Or just, I don't know, because this is actually a remake. Because, you know, the PlayStation 4 has kind of a lot of remasters where they take the old gameplay and they complete, and completely remake the game, but just up the graphic effects. Final Fantasy VII is a pure remake. They basically took the idea of Final Fantasy VII, which I believe the original game was a turn-based game, and they turned it into more like action, JRPG, uh, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. So here's my thing with Final Fantasy VII, or Final Fantasy in general. I've never played a Final Fantasy game, unless I count Kingdom Hearts. When people ask me, what's my favorite Final Fantasy game? I'll go like, well, Kingdom Hearts is, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite Final Fantasy. But people just look at me with absolute disgust and they're just like, roll their eyes or like, he's an idiot. I get that a lot. So, uh, I was interested in playing this game because I heard, I heard some really good reviews. And like I said, I never played a Final Fantasy before. But I always remembered a, a buddy of mine in high school and college and uh, they would talk, he would, uh, be, I remember in college he would say like, play whatever, he was playing Final Fantasy VII and someone across the hall uh, <laughs> uh, were playing bad and he's like, I tried to save the world for Sephiroth and they're over there playing Madden. What the hell do they have? So now I can, I guess I can relate, I guess? I, I don't know. So Final Fantasy VII is the story of Cloud and his, uh, and the gang, uh, Barrett, um, uh, Tifa, and basically they're going to war with this slimy organization called Sightser, slime so so it's something weird. I couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, Citra, Citra, got it. Bam. But it's about this uh, organization that is trying to control the the Mako in the world, which is the energy source that it's kind of like fuel. If we're, if I'm if I'm gonna relate it to in a real world, and but it's about them trying to blow up reactors. You have Cloud. He's an ex soldier. He's a He's a merc, but he has this connection with Tifa, and he that's one of the reasons he's uh, connected with this uh, group. But then it goes on into more about this uh, girl, Athlon, Athlon, um, Arion, so, it's something weird. I can't, I, sorry guys, it's just, I, I've been, I, played, I played the game for over 24 hours probably, and I think you think you would know the character's name, but I just don't remember her name. I'm sorry. But I really liked her character and how she has this, like, mystical thing around it. And I did, like, first off, the gameplay. I thought the gameplay was fun. I thought I had a really fun time playing. And I liked being able to switch the characters, able to use, uh, uh, where if you wanted to go, go with the guy with the sword, you can fight with Cloud. If you wanted to fight with someone with guns, you go with Barrett. And I have to say... The standout character of the game for me was Barrett. He he has some. He was just hilarious. Uh, his uh, some of his wall breaks were just incredible. And then like when he wins, he goes. Dun, 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 dun. Which you know is classic for the old Final Fantasy uh, music. Uh, even I knew that. The story. I mean, I'll have to say. The first two thirds of the story, I thought was like, okay, this makes sense. And then at the end, it completely goes full of So I'm just like, what's going on? Like there was these things that can't kill. There's like these ghostly figures you fight throughout the game, <laughs> and you're just like, what's going on right now? And they can't kill you because they can't interrupt the flow of destiny. And I was just like, okay. It Sephiroth shows up throughout the whole game, but he's just really a memory or something of Cloud. But then towards the end of the game, he actually shows up. And when you fight him, and they play the, like, like I said, my, that buddy of mine in high school and college played the song all the talk, time. And when you're fighting Sephiroth with the music playing, you're, you feel a little intimidated, I will say. 
And I will say, what balls of Square Enix, of course, I believe uh, the Midgard part of the game is just a small portion of Final Fantasy VII. And to say we're going to make this into multiple games and that we only did the first portion of Final Fantasy VII and now we can stretch this out for maybe a, tril a cool little trilogy or maybe just another great Final Fantasy game. I have to say, this game was fun, confusing, made my head scratch, but I always my head always scratches when I play a Final Fantasy game or when I play a Square Enix game. So I absolutely had a fun time. Glad I picked this up during Black Friday last year. Totally worth me playing it, and I can't wait to play the sequel, or maybe I'll play another Final Fantasy eventually. Uh, I don't know. We'll see about that. All right, guys. So what are your thoughts of Final Fantasy VII the remake? Whatever they are, comment below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to see more, tell your friends, but easy nation. Oh, too easy.